Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to add a completely free virtual guitar plugin to Cakewalk. In your internet browser, type in www.amplesound.net. Then click on the download tab at the top of the web page. In the free software section, on the Amp Guitar M Lite row, click on the pluginsforfree.com link. Then scroll down the page and click on Win64 VST. Then click on Save on the pop-up window. Once the download has finished, click on the download icon. Then click on the downloaded file. Then click on Install in the Self Extracting Archive window. Then click on Yes on the User Account Control window. Then click on Next on the Setup window. Read the agreement and click on Accept the agreement. Then click on Next. Then click on Next again. Then click on Next. And Next again. And Next again. And Next again. And next again. And then click on install. If you see this window, click on close. Then click on next. Then click on finish. Next, open a project in Capewalk. To add the plugin, click on Edit and click on Preferences. Now click on VST Settings. If you use the default settings, the VST will not be in the normal folder, so click on Add. Click on your C drive. Then click on Program Files. Then scroll down. And click on Steinberg. Then click on VST Plugins. Then click on OK. The plugin will now be detected by Cakewalk. Now click on OK. Now click on the Synth icon. Then click on the plus icon to the left of the new folder called Uncategorized. Then drag Ample Sound to the track header. Then click on OK.
to connect it to your synth, click on a MIDI track. And make sure the ample guitar has been selected on the MIDI track. I'm not going to go through everything this can do, and you can find out most things by moving the mouse cursor over an option, fader, knob, switch or note. And a pop-up message will give you some information. This is also the free version, so not everything is available. The main tab at the top left of the plugin window shows the guitar setup features. Things worth noting here is the icon labelled Standard Mode. Clicking on the icon switches between Standard Mode, Keyboard Mode and Solo Mode. Standard Mode is good for normal guitar playing. Keyboard Mode lets you play more than one note on the same string. Notice how the notes appear as dots on the strings of the guitar image. Solo mode only lets you play one note at a time. The Mic 1 and Mic 2 faders are used to mix the overall mic sound of the guitar. The main fader is the volume level control. The double toggle doubles up the guitar. The res fader and the res R knob control the amount of guitar body resonance. Clicking on the D0 key on the virtual keyboard, or on a MIDI keyboard, turns on Palm Mute. Clicking on the C0 key on the virtual keyboard, or on a MIDI keyboard, turns the notes back to sustained. Click on the Strummer tab to play preset note patterns. Click on the on-off toggle to turn on the Strummer. To play the first pattern, 
press the C3 key on your MIDI keyboard. The pattern is shown on the sequencer grid. You can edit the pattern, but I won't go into that in this video. Hover the mouse cursor over the pattern pads to see the MIDI keys to press for the other patterns. You can also click on the load pattern icon, which is the file icon to the right of the sequencer grid. And click on a pattern on the pop-up window to change the pattern. To change the chord of a pattern, press a key between C1 and B2. The chord options are shown on the chord grid. You can edit these too, but the easiest way to change them is to click on the key icon at the bottom of the grid, which is set to C by default. And click on a key for the scale on the pop-up menu. So, to play chord 1, which is F major, with pattern 1, press on C1 to select the chord 1, and then press C3 to play pattern 1. And while holding down C3 to play pattern 1, press another key between C1 and B2 to change chords. So here I shall start with chord 1, which is C1, and then move to chord 3, which is D1. You can also change the strum speed with the strum time knob. Click on the FX tab to add pedal effects. Press on the foot zone of a pedal to turn the pedal on or off. Notice that when I press on the delay pedal, the red light comes on on the pedal to tell you the pedal is on. Use the mouse to drag the pedal knobs or faders and change the pedal settings.
Finally, click on the Settings tab to load or save a preset. Click on Save. Type in a name. And then click on Save to save your current settings. Click on Load. Click on a preset name. And click on Open to load a saved preset. If you enjoyed this video, to give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.